G'day and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats splicing video where we show you how to put an eye splice in Dyneema core rope. If you like what you see in this video and want to try it at home, we'd really appreciate it if you get your gear by using the product links in the description below. Step number one, you want to put a bite in the end of the rope and with your left hand, nip it off where the size of the eye is and then pick up the working end at that point. Well, step two, you want to take a fid and insert it in between the braids and slide it up to create a hole, working it slowly to eventually allow you to slide the fid three or four centimeters up inside the outer core. You can then create a bite with the outer core still in the fid and then using your fingers or a secondary fid, tease the braids of the outer core down to slowly reveal the inner core. It's very important at this point to make sure that you don't nip any of the cores and just take your time. It's uh, usually fairly tight to get the two widths out, but you will eventually get it to the point where you can pull out the inner core. Step number three, you want to pull out around about 30 centimeters of the core, which will help with normalizing it. And this particular rope has a secondary cover over the Dyneema in the middle. This is very difficult to create the eye splice. So what you want to do is take off that core. You do that by slowly cutting all of the threads. And once they're all cut, you just slide off that secondary core leaving the external core and your internal dyneema which we will now put in our eye splice for step number four you want to take your sharpie pen and mark the size of your eye with a line on each side of the core then loosen up the core starting with the mark that's closer to the outer part of the rope, putting through a big fed that allows you to take the working end and slide it into the fed and pop it through to create a nice loop. For step number five, it's a repeat of step number four, this time at the second mark that you created. Once again, loosen it up, slide the fed through, and what it's key at this step is to make sure that you keep the uh, Dyneema core flat so that the two loops that you've created sit nice and neatly. For step number six, you want to take the working end and pull the first loop through on itself to create a twist. While keeping the hole open, you put through a big fid that's large enough to take two dynamiters of the core, and then just pop it through on itself. You then want to undo the twist you did in the previous step, and just tease the rope to make sure it's all sitting flat. You can then pull it tight, and that effectively completes your eye with the Brummel locking splice now in place. For step number seven, you want to take your D splicer and take it to a point just slightly longer than where the working end would sit when running it along the main line. Slide it up through the middle, bringing it out as close to the Brummel locking splice as you can. Then take the working end of the line, pop it in the end of your D slicer, and then tease it all the way through until it pops out. For step number eight, you want to taper the working end of the buried Dyneema to ensure a smooth splice for the final berry. To do this, you pull out the working end as far as you can, then grab a thread of the Dyneema and clip it off with your shears. You want to repeat this four or five times, moving up a couple of centimeters each time, pulling out a thread and then trimming it off until you get all the way to the end at which point you can then just slide the outer core over the 
working end to bury the end of the splice and complete your Brummel locking splice on the Denema core. For step number nine, it's just a simple matter of normalizing the cover back over the core that you've now put your locking splice into. This is relatively easy as you'd pulled out some core in an earlier step. Go several meters down the outer core and then just slide it up until the eye splice is finished at the exit point that you created in step number two. For step number 10, you want to bury the final part of the outer core back on itself. To do this, you loop it through the eye of the Brummel and then come down around about 10 to 15 centimeters and then cut off your core. You then want to taper this core because it's going to be fairly tight to pull it through because we've got three or four widths of the normal rope. So as in with the earlier step where we tapered the core, we're now going to taper the cover, starting about halfway down, working your way up and pulling out two or three of the threads and then just nipping them off until you've created quite a heavy taper. For step number 11, you once again want to take your D splicer and this time we're going to insert it around about 10 centimeters or so from where the Dyneema core was pulled out of the cover. You work the D splicer up. It's going to be quite tight because you've got two widths of core inside this time, but just work it up slowly and then bring it out really close to the edge of the loop of your Brummel splice. You then take the working end of the core, which you've tapered, slot it into the end of the D slicer and pull it through. It's going to be really tight due to the number of widths you have. So what you might need to do is get a hammer or something hard and just tap it every so often, which should allow you to then pull it through. At this time, we want to work it and pull the tail through as much as we can so that we can actually uh, bunch up that 10 centimeters and this will allow us once you've pulled it through enough to then bury the outer core that's been tapered at that exit point. For step number 12 you want to bend the inner core on itself and cut it off as close to the exit point without nipping any of the threads of the outer core. You then just want to work it again on itself to complete that berry and there you have it the completed eye splice in Dyneema double cord rope. The final step is completely optional but it does give you a really professional finish as well as giving you a little bit of an extra security that that final berry on the outer core will not come undone even under the craziest of use cases. It takes quite a while to do this one, so we've played it for you here at 20 times the speed. But if you do want to do this final step, you can check it out in the linked video. So there you have it, the Brummel Locked Spice in dual core Dyneema rope.